Good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. So what are the general themes that traders should be looking out for today? Well, I think one of the first ones is going to be in regards to the uh, FX markets where uh, UBS have pretty much come out with a statement saying that the ECB should drop its inflation targets of 2%, saying that they're probably looking quite unrealistic in the current market conditions. So that's one thing to, uh, to think about if you're looking at FX. You should also look at uh, GBP versus the US dollar. Sterling has been getting hit quite hard recently. We had very disappointing manufacturing index data come out. I think that was on Tuesday and that's caused the, um, the cable to get really, really pressured and sell off uh, in the last couple of sessions. Now today also brings the Bank of England interest rate decision, which is widely expected to obviously remain as it is, but it will probably come with a relatively dovish statement talking about the state of the uh, UK economy. They're not expecting the UK to raise rates anytime soon. So that's one thing to think about um, when that gets confirmed. Uh, the cable's already come off a, a fair amount, but when you look at the trend, and we'll look at the chart actually when we come along to the technical analysis section of this, uh, of this video, um, you can see for yourself. Another very important element to look at, we saw a sell-off in the equity markets late last night, and that was caused by a, a kind of another sell-off in the commodity markets. So it's having a rippling effect across uh, many other areas of the, of the global economy. You saw the US 30 come off more than uh, triple digits yesterday, and uh, a lot of that is coming down to uh, copper prices, but also, also crude. And crude's very much in focus again. You had Nigeria talking about having an emergency OPEC meeting. Brent crude traded below $30 for the first time in 12 years overnight. Now, it's just slightly above that right now. And what's kind of interesting is that actually West Texas crude, for the first time in a long time, is actually trading above uh, Brent. And uh, both of those um, uh, commodities are trading around about $30. Uh, but we'll get a chance to have a look at that chart again. There was, they tried to be kind of a bit of a rally later on in the session, and it's just, it's just sold off again later on in that session. So that kind of gives you an idea of the general themes to look out for. Now let's go ahead and have a look at some of the technicals as well. So if we go ahead here and have a look at the US 30 to kickstart things off, CMC Marcus clients are currently uh, showing a little bit of indecision, 51% long. You can see the sell-off that we had late on in the session, especially when we were up a lot higher and it's sold, sold off. We are in the middle of two ranges. You're looking at 16,000 as a potential support and 16,476 uh, has been the potential resistance. And uh, there is obviously selling interest the closer we get to here. We are currently trading at the top end of the range for the day. Um, but this, uh, this candle here is a bearish engulfing pattern and uh, doesn't bode well for the future. Looking at the UK 100, uh, a very similar candle formation. Uh, we were so positive, it was looking okay, but it's immediately reversed right back down. Now we, ha we are trading higher this morning, again at the top end of the range. CMC market clients are currently 90% long, um, but just be careful out there because obviously there's still a lot of economic data to come. Uh, if, the, if the commodity markets begin to sell off again or, or there's any heat from China, uh, these markets do look a little bit vulnerable. So that's currently where we stand. The other technicals are, are relatively neutral, uh, but we'll see if things continue after the Bank of England today and uh, the statement that comes out. Moving on to Japan 225, CMC clients are 70 or 63% short. Uh, we, are, we are a long way off the lows of the day. I think Japan 225 was actually down about 2.7% at one point. Uh, this is actually an encouraging candle formation to have for Japan. Again, a kind of fairly uh, negative candle yesterday. Uh, but the fact is we were so much lower, we've managed to wipe out all of those losses and still then post again. That's actually looking a little bit more tasty. On the right side of 17.172, um, that's looking okay. We are getting a buying signal on the, on the RSI and we're quite close to getting that reversal signal uh, up higher on the slow stochastic. And we might even get a crossover at some point on the MACD. But ultimately, Japan to do five will be driven by China and the US stock market. So uh, we'll see how that pans out. Moving quickly on to uh, dollar yen. Dollar yen been very, very volatile. We had a, a, kind of a, move, a, a kind of a move to the upside last night as the stock markets began to recover. When we had that sell off, pushed right back down again. Again, quite a, a kind of a volatile start to the session, similar to the Japan 225 candle. It was more negative as people started to buy the yen as a safe haven. They unwound that pretty quickly. Very sharp move on, uh, on, on dollar yen. 61% of CMT Marcus clients are currently short. We almost have a crossover on the MACD. We do have a buy signal on the RSI and close to that in the slow stochastic. So dollar yen is probably slightly ahead of where the Japan 225 is from a technical analysis perspective, but you do have quite staunch potential resistance at 118 spot 33. So then moving on to West Texas crude, and West Texas crude probably gives you a bit of a flavor of what to, uh, 
the chart gives you a bit of a flavor of what to, what to expect. Volatile session again yesterday. We tried to rally up, pushed right back down again. Will today be more of the same? The, the interesting thing is the tips of these candles here uh, are showing you're making a series of, uh, of higher lows. So that's, that's useful, okay? Especially when you look at the fact that CMC Marcus clients are currently 96% long. There's obviously a lot of people hoping this is going to push up that little bit higher. 31 spot 57 is the potential resistance to look out for. And uh, the low is much, much lower, all the way down, close to $27. Then quickly moving on to gold. Um, Gold's been all over the place recently, actually. Uh, it did manage to post a, a positive candle uh, yesterday as the negativity in the market spilled over. The yen's probably a better proxy trade for, uh, for that kind of uh, as a safe haven asset for the volatility. Uh, as the markets have recovered this morning, gold has then immediately ver reversed course again. You're looking at uh, kind of one, uh, 1,080 has been the potential support. Next potential resistance at $1,100. We're trading above both moving averages. This one's a bit of a tough one to call right now. It's not corresponding to a lot of the technical levels in a very friendly manner. So uh, I, I still think dollar yen is probably your, your better trade to look at if that's what you're interested in. Then moving on to euro dollar, uh, still trading within this descending triangle formation. 84% of CMT market clients are short. We're trading below, uh, in between both moving averages uh, with the other technicals looking rel flattening out, uh, which usually means you've got a consolidation. The next big move on euro dollar could be a big one. So, uh, but we have to break out of one end of this triangle, one side of this triangle. And then we talked before, uh, a lot about GBP at the start. It's looking pretty grim when you see this chart right here. Next potential support, one spot 4230. We are in the middle of two ranges. So we're in the middle, a little bit of no man's land. CMC Marcus clients are 53% uh, short. So they're showing a lot of indecision and we are slap bang in the middle of two ranges. I think you have to wait for the Bank of England statement today before you can really have a proper view on where this is gonna go next. Let's finish up by having a quick look at that uh, economic calendar. As you can see there uh, at 12 uh, noon and UK time, we've got that Bank of England uh, rate decision and that normally comes with a statement as well. And you've got unemployment claims. And if we fast forward onto Friday, we've got retail sales in the US, industrial production, uh, and also the University of Michigan sentiment index. Well guys, that's, uh, that's it for me today. Very good luck with your trading. And why don't you join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next. Thank you very much and goodbye.